What's up everybody, you're rocking with the best. We are CampingGearTV.com. I'm Ben. I'm Josh. And just again, another quick reminder for those of you tuning in that we made the announcement on episode 100 that in 2011 we're starting our gear giveaways where we will be giving away a lot of the gear we are featuring, at least one item per week, but possibly more, and possibly more than one winner will be receiving gear. Could there be possibly less than one item? No, that's, that's highly unlikely. It'd be difficult to give away no items. So I'm thinking okay. one is the minimum we're gonna, we're gonna go with here. So, All right. but anyways, as time goes on, just make sure you keep checking in with us and uh, leaving comments, watching videos, and yeah. when 2011 hits, make sure you're joining in on the party. So, it will be a party. As always, we're taking a look at the latest and greatest in outdoor gear, and today we got a backpack. Today we do have a backpack, and uh, it's one by Golite. Um, and as we've talked about in some Golite episodes a couple weeks back, uh, Golite is really well known for ultralight backpacking. Right. I mean, that's that's their big thing is ultralight backpacking, getting out there with with a minimalist kind of mentality, and doing the damn thing. Do you think that's say. what the the light the part in their in their name go light? Do you think that's what it's referring to is the lightweight? There's a chance, right? I think that's it's possible. I'll have to check in with him on that. So this is the Jam Pack, all right, and it's a J A M Jam. That's what this one's called. Uh, again, go light. And uh, the Jam is uh, it's a pretty cool pack. I've had a chance to use it a couple times. Um, I've gotten it out, and it's different than any pack I've ever used before, right? I've never used a pack that was so geared towards ultralight backpacking. Um, this thing weighs only one pound, 10 ounces. That's, that's pretty light considering other backpacks, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, some of the other backpacks we've looked at, like you know maybe a High Sierra 65 liter pack, is going to be a little under five pounds, you know, high fours, something like that. And, um, you know, it's not really accurate to compare those two because a, a normal, you know, not ultralight backpacking pack um, will have a lot more stuff on it and uh, be burlier and be more suited for carrying much heavier weights. Bigger frames. Yeah, like carrying 50, 60, 70 pounds worth of stuff, whereas this maybe is more geared towards um, if you're gonna be in the 30 pound range, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so, uh, but it's really still kind of exceptional to note that they've, they've got a pack here that uh, is what? 51 liters that weighs one pound, 10 ounces. How did so, they do that? How did they do that? I Look, bet you're going to tell us. I, I've got a few insights on that one. So one of the ways they do it is uh, with the fabric this stuff's made out of, which is called Dyneema fabric. And so they've used a, a weave, basically, that's 100% nylon, uh, fiber strands, um, interwoven with this Dyneema fabric. And what Dyneema fabric is, is it's a proprietary fabric um, that, uh, you know, Golite has, has used in this, in this pack. And it's got a strength to weight ratio that is 15 times better than high tensile steel. So, did you see what I did there? I, no. I, I, I went like this, and you know my superior strength. Right. Well, on any other backpack, I just would have shredded it. It probably exploded. Right, but this time, no. Nothing. Well, it's pretty strong. It's. So, this fabric right here. Um, is uh, the strength to weight ratio 15 times greater than high tensile steel. Um, basically what that means is that this fabric and this pack is going to be super, super durable and very difficult to tear, as our man here, uh, Bishop Don Juan, just demonstrated. Um, so that's, that's kind of a cool thing about this pack. You know, very, very lightweight um, and uh, kind of indestructible in a lot of ways. So let's get into some more of the... <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's get into some more of the details about this bad boy. Um, you know, the thing that I really like about it is that this thing, it's, an, it's made for ultralight backpacking, but it's got this compactor system where you can kind of compact the pack down even further. So if you'll notice down here at the bottom, when you've got the pack fully extended, if you close these loops around these little hooks, Put it up in there, cinch it down. You really you tighten up the the room in the pack, so it's going to be then all of a sudden, you know, you can cut down maybe 50, 70 percent of the pack weight, and there's a couple more up here that you can use as well. Um, so pretty sweet, nice way if you want to go out on a day hike, you know, something where you don't need all the weight. Um, 
but you know the pack is still the same size. Well, not with this one. You have kind of the ability to kind of compact it down a little bit. So then you're only it's it's able to go to a smaller bag. You're not bringing as much stuff with you. Right. Or if you're taking a little bit of stuff, it's not sitting in this giant space. Yeah, exactly. Right. And it's just you know if you've got only a you know if you don't have much stuff, using a big backpack is really awkward. Right. Right. And so that gives you the ability to really pull the backpack in around the uh, smaller amount of stuff you bring. So you may, may, need, you may eliminate the need to have a, a small backpack and yeah. a large backpack. You got them both in one shot. Right, right. It's just nice. And so turning around and looking at the back of the pack, and we'll get back to the front in a minute, you know, like most, uh, you know, high-end packs, you've got a really nice adjustable hip belt uh, that's got pockets on, on either side, and within these pockets there's little, there's a couple little compartments, uh, and these are made of... Uh, stretch woven fabrics, both of these. So, you know, pretty nice. You can probably shove a bunch of stuff in there. Candy. Yeah, and you've got really, you know, the breathable materials that this stuff's made with down here. Um, when you go and look at these, these shoulder straps, these are called um, Brock foam padded shoulder straps. Like Barack Obama? That was witty. That was good. Exactly like Barack Obama, except spelled B-R-O-C-K. Oh. So these are really lightweight, um, very breathable, mesh kind of like foam pad. Uh, nice, very comfortable. Like I said, when I was using this thing, um, it's, it's a comfortable, lightweight pack. You know, there's no doubt about that. Um, it's got an adjustable sternum strap, as most packs like this do, right? Adjustable the, sternum? Yes. Does it come with an adjustable rectum? Strap? No. Just the sternum? Yeah. Okay. All right. No, it does not come with an adjustable rectum strap. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Maybe some of the higher end models. We'll look into that. That's a good question. All right. Yeah. So the sternum strap, though. The sternum strap, though, has a, a small whistle on it here, mm. which is nice. That was delightful. Yeah, so you know you've got a whistle there with you. Um, one of the things I noticed about this, with all the straps, but particularly the compression straps, uh, which we'll get to, right now they're they're really thin um, a lot thinner than what you'll see on other backpacks and so again that's just probably one of the ways that they were able to get the uh, pack weight down so low under yeah. two pounds again thinner and skinnier yeah yeah so there's two side compression straps on each side so you can you know uh, clamp in a sleeping pad if you want or you know whatever you need to do there's so there's one there there's one here same thing on the other side and then something that's pretty cool is that these compression straps on the sides can get pretty long like this and you're like well what the hell am I gonna do with that well if La you take the one from the other language Josh I'm sorry language. excuse me you said rectum no well, that's a medical term I believe you can take the strap you mind holding this up here yeah, sure you can take the strap from both sides and hook them together like this so that then you could then tighten it down and have something big in, on the back that you could hold if you wanted to. Um, I know on GoLight's website they say if you wanted to strap a snowboard to your back, you could do that with this. And again, there's two on each side, so you'd have the same thing coming up over here like oh. this. Like that. Yeah. When, when two become one. Oh, that was there magical. There we go. There we go. Yeah, so, so that's the, com the compression straps. Um, it's got two angled side mesh pockets. Uh, with the uh, flexible top here, the okay. elastic, um, good for putting in water bottles, something you expect out of a pack, some of the basics there. Uh, it's got a couple of ice axe loops at the bottom, uh, and it also has an elastic cord and a pack hook system for closure. So, pretty, uh, pretty insane. So, uh, let's get to some of the stuff on the inside of the pack. One of the things that uh, you'll definitely notice about this pack is that there is no conventional um, cover or flap that goes over the top to keep uh, water out and all that kind of stuff. It's got a different system altogether, similar to maybe like what you'd see on a dry bag, where you cinch the top like this and then roll it down Get out of town. on itself and then uh, take the compression strap from over the top and clip it in like that. So well, that's how it does it, and again, that's Fantastic. another way to keep weight off and uh, kind of innovative, really. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Um, so then back to the inside, though, 
we open this bad boy up, a couple of interesting things in here. This thing can hold a three liter bladder. Uh, there's a compartment inside here that, that accommodates that, right? And then there's uh, little holes in the pack on both sides, right? And uh, whatever, that'll let your hydration tubes come out of those little ports there on either side. Um, one thing about this pack is that, uh, you know, you look at a pack like this and you think, oh, there's an internal frame pack. This, this does not necessarily have an internal frame. It doesn't really have a frame at all. So there you go, another way that the, the weight is so light. What it has instead is a comfort foam back pad, which if you want to get super crazy and super lightweight, you can unvelcro this thing and actually take that pad out. Not I sure found why. it to be. Yeah, I'm not sure why you'd want to do that. I mean, you'd want to do it if you're really, really, really trying to get every bit of weight out of your pack as possible. But um, then you're really going to be in a situation where pack probably wouldn't be nearly as comfortable on your back. Yeah, you're sacrificing comfort for like yeah. probably couple ounces. But again though, it, that depends on how you wear your pack. You know, if your pack is, you know, more on your hips, you know, like it should be, then it might not be so bad and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, you know, that's pretty much the, the specs on this pack. Um, you know, using it, it's, it's not like a normal backpack, right? There's not a bunch of ways to strap stuff to this thing. It's not made to have a sleeping bag strapped onto the top and a tent strapped on the bottom and all sorts of stuff hanging off of it. You know, as you'll see from some of the pictures, this thing's really for compact ultralight backpacking, right? So you gotta get whatever you wanna get, whatever you wanna take with you, you need to get it inside of this pack is, is mostly what it's designed for. You know, what's interesting is that a lot of times you have people who are out backpacking who may be like sharing a tent mm -hmm. and someone may have a pack that is super weighed down and yep. someone may not have, a, we may not need a pack that has all that stuff in there. Yep. What's really good is to use this pack when you're teaming up with another buddy where say someone's carrying, you know, 60 pounds mm -hmm. and you get this one down to 30, mm -hmm. you know, your tent and other sleeping, maybe some eating materials materials are on the other one and so that way you can switch back and forth between taking turns of the heavy and the light you know another right. way to get that out in a heavier backpacking situation but like you're saying it's certainly real good for day packing stuff right yeah so this thing costs about hundred and twenty five dollars um, I've seen them high, as high as hundred and fifty uh, so I think that's about right here and um, it's certainly a, a specialty type pack uh, again like I've said a million times in this episode for ultralight backpacking um, but, uh, you know, I think it's pretty sweet. So, uh, you know, go check it out. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. Keep on pimping. CampingGearTV.com.